received a press release from CSE, a sports marketing company, that claimed their research showed that Sean White is the eighth most powerful athlete in the world. White was ahead of some really big names, and the biggest surprise to this New Yorker was that Yankee icon Derek Jeter was ranked 78th. We had to find out more. I mean, we're a sports marketing company. We believe for an athlete and a brand to align with an athlete that they have to be be able to perform both on the field and off the field. They can't just be one or the other. So we take a look at over 3,000 athletes. Statistically, he, you know, in the events he competes in, he tends to blow the competition away. And that's what we look at. Are they trustworthy? Are they good-looking? Are they intelligent? How prominent they are from a social media standpoint. So that would be Facebook fans and Twitter followers. Finally, um, a large percentage of our off-field score is based on endorsement dollars. I, I, I picked up a package of Sean White's bubble gum the other day at the convenience store. Does that have any much to do with it? If you really, that's, is that really moving the needle? Uh, I have, actually, I haven't seen that. Everybody knows Sean White. Uh, 38% of America knows who he is. So that's, that's a, actually a really high number. That's where we see brands that we work with try to reach the youth market through action sports. We had a cold snap last week, which got us thinking about dressing properly for outdoor sports. Here's what Tony had to say. We're going to show you what we really believe is a great example of uh, layering so that you'll be able to handle any weather. And this is what you need. But fashion, it's not just about fashion, it's about function. Because we know we got quite a bit of clothes on, right? Yes. Do you feel anywhere like an encased sausage? Nope, but I feel awesome. <laughs> Remember, it's really important that goggles are not just for seeing, but they're for eye protection. I mean, this is like a knight in armor right here. She's loaded for bear. If it's 12, 10 below zero, a 25 below wind chill factor, she's going to be comfortable. She's going to enjoy a great day on the hill. Just because there's no snow outside your front door doesn't mean it's not snow sports season. We found these stories and pictures in a quick cruise around the web. It reinforces what I've always said about the snow at a ski area. You don't know what the conditions are unless you're on the mountain. That's snow news for this week. Be well till next time.